The junction rule states that the total current entering a junction must equal the total current leaving a junction. As a formula, we write it as the sum of the current coming in has to equal the sum of the current going out. Now, the junction rule immediately begs the question, what is a junction? A junction is the point where two or more wires come together. So you can see right here, I have two wires. I have a blue one, there's my blue one, and I have this green one, okay? And so I'll bring them together. And right there, right here, that's the junction. And so the junction rule says the current coming in has to equal the current coming out. So that means if I have current coming in, we'll say uh, 5 amps coming in, well then guess what? I've got to have 5 amps coming out. So I've got 5 amps coming into the junction and I've got 5 amps coming out. So this basically says that the wire that along a wire or along a single path I should say the current is the same all throughout it. Now, more interesting thing happens, more interesting things happen when you have more than just two wires. So for example, let's have let's stick with this. Let me erase all this here. Okay. And we'll throw in a third wire right here. So now I have three wires coming in to this junction. And what the heck, why don't we just go ahead and throw in a fourth wire. Here's a fourth wire. Right. So now I've got four wires all coming together at this point, which is, of course, the junction. Now let me just say, take a moment to say that the junction rule is basically just a statement of conservation of charge. Uh, the charge is flowing, of course, because we have current. But we're basically saying, you know, the total amount has to remain constant. That's why whatever comes in, you have to have the same amount going out. So let's just do a simple example here. Going back, we'll say, okay, we've got uh, 10 amps coming in here. And we'll just say we've got 4 amps coming there. And... Let's make this one, here we go, seven amps leaving. And so the question is, what's going on here in the green? So if I set this up, some of the current's coming in. Well, I have two currents coming in. This 10 amp is coming, going towards this point, the junction. The four amps is also going toward the junction. So that means I have 10 plus four. That has to equal I have this seven that is leaving, it's going away from the junction. So that has to equal a seven. Now I can do this math in my head. I can see that 10 plus four is more than seven. So that means there must be, we'll call it IG for the green wire. There must be some more leaving. 10 plus four is 14. This is seven plus IG. And so hopefully you can see that this means that the green current must be seven amps. And that's all there is to it.